Hello one and all, I wanted to do a quick review of last year because it was such a fantastic year in some respects and such a terrible year in others. I mean, we lost so many good people, like, a lot of good people. There's so much to get through in this video that I'm going to have to be pretty quick. And it all started off in January. Now I wasn't on YouTube at this point, so I'm going to steal some videos from Emily's channel. First family outing that we had in January was a trip to the Sea Life Centre. And look how little Violet looks there, she is tiny. Oh yeah, and that was also the day that Emily got her random Sabrina tattoo. I've still got to get mine, I really can't wait. Really want to get the run, run, the house is on my fire. One day. The biggest trip of last year, which we're also repeating this year, and I'm so excited about it because we've just booked it all and it's going to be amazing. But we went to Disneyland. For anybody that hasn't watched this video, oh, we have watched this video so many times. Violet is obsessed with it now. As soon as she hears the music to it, she knows exactly what's playing. The next big thing that we did together was we went to Centre Parks. And the great thing is they allow you to use cameras inside the place so you can record yourselves and make an awesome video, much like this one. A big milestone for me last year was me starting YouTube. My first video being my piercings video. I was amazed at how many people were interested in it actually and I want to thank you all because without you me putting this video up wouldn't really mean anything so thank you very much. If you haven't had a watch and you want to know all about my piercings and how many piercings I have, have a look. I'm not sure if this is the same in America because I know Mother's Day is in a different date but over here we celebrate Father's Day in June. Emily surprised me with this amazing video. It, every time I watch it it makes me cry. It's, oh, it's so lovely. If you haven't watched it yet, have a, have a quick look. After this video, wait a minute, okay? The beginning of July saw us going to Horicon. It was the second year we went, and it's the second year that it's been running. People that we saw were so friendly. I mean, the first year we went, we met a load of famous people. It was just amazing. Every, all the famous people there are so nice and polite. And it still wasn't that busy. And we went in costume as well, which was great fun. Late July, I took part in a 24 hour gaming marathon. I wasn't actually participating in it. I was live streaming it. And it was the first time that I'd ever done anything like that. So it was a big challenge for me. It was a massive learning curve, but I, I learned a lot. I'm proud to hopefully be doing it again at some point soon. The end of July also saw my most popular video to date, which is my body modifications video. I was very surprised at how many people watch this and how many people actually accept the way that I look it must be weirder than I am. I only had a few criticisms on the video. Yeah, I'm really surprised by that. Thanks again to you guys, because you really have helped me build my self-esteem actually quite a lot with that one, so thanks. The next big event that I went to was the Sky Ride. They closed down the town and allowed cyclists to cycle around and had events going on at the same time and I saw a few people crash as well which was mildly amusing. September saw Emily's birthday trip to Chessington. I don't know if we can actually clarify that as Emily's birthday trip because we all enjoyed it as much as each other and she didn't get any special treatment. September was also the month that I did my first vlog. I had great fun. I went out on my roller skates and went to the dentist. I've got to rethink my definition of fun. October we had a family trip to Africa Alive. Violet was tiny when we first went there. She slept halfway around it anyway. It's always good fun to go there. Also being the month of Halloween we had to go to Alton Towers which is a local theme park. They put on a Halloween show every year and it is incredible. Now November, this wasn't so much my thing, but I had a great time participating in it. It was Emily's meet up with other YouTubers, Julia Zelt, Lilitha's Bones, and Toxic Panda in London. And we also went to the Nickelodeon shop, which I had no idea was there, but we only found it because it was right opposite the M&M world. I very much recommend it. If you go to London at all, go to the M&M store. And thank you so much for the people that came to that because it was so much fun meeting you. You were a laugh and a half, you really were. I can't believe we managed to spend so much time just sitting down in a circle on the grass. In November, I went with my two good friends, Amy and Rob to Go Ape, which is an outdoor play park, climbing in the trees type thing. In fact, I think that's exactly how I explained it in the introduction to it too. November also saw us going to see Melanie Martinez, which was amazing and we were so lucky because she'd cancelled the gig in France that was the one previous to the one we went to and she cancelled all the ones after the one we went to because of illness. So we were very, very lucky to see her. Now I didn't think I'd hit it this soon, but in December I managed to hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much for that because, well, 
couldn't have done it without you, obviously. However much of a cliche that sounds, it's true and I can't thank you enough. Of course, we ended off the year with having Christmas. We had an amazing Christmas. We had to travel to my mother-in-law's and to my parents. Fortunately, both living quite close, it wasn't too big of a deal. And then my final video last year was me going to Airsoft. My uncle owns an Airsoft place in Essex, close to where we are. I'd been wanting to go for a while. I'd been watching a lot of YouTube videos about Airsoft and, and just really, really wanting to go. And the people that go there are so nice, even though they're pros. This one guy called Kicking Mustang has an amazing suit that he wears out. He's completely camouflaged, you wouldn't be able to see him. And he was giving me tips and advice of what to do and he's obviously been doing this quite a while. And yeah, that, that's been this year in a nutshell. It's been one hell of a ride and looking back on it now, I can kind of see the good points more than I can see the bad points because it hasn't been a fantastic year in some respects, but I'm glad we made it through and I'm hoping Fingers crossed that 2017 is going to be a bit of a better year, but we'll see, you know, we'll take it as it comes. We've got a lot of things planned this year and I'm very excited about them. I've just booked myself in for another day session on my video game leg. Thanks to Emily for the tattoo voucher. We're going to a rock night in London later this month, which is going to be awesome because it's got a section where you can play PS1 and N64 games. We're going back to Disneyland. I'm going to go and see one of my favourite bands called Rachel Stamp going to go to Insomnia video gaming thing and there's the goth weekend in April as well I think. And then in May we've got Horrorcon number three. Let me know below what kind of things you're getting up to this year that you're really really excited about and until next time see you later. Bye!